Like every NBA 2K game, Michael Jordan is yet again the highest rated player in the game, but he is not the only 99 in the game. He is joined alongside Bron James, Magic Johnson, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But out of these four players, Jordan is ranked the highest. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a full team of 15 Michael Jordans and facing them off against the 15 15 next greatest players in NBA history to find out if Jordan could beat them all combined just using himself. So on the team of the greatest of players, of course, we got LeBron James, Magic, Kareem as our 99s. And then I actually moved Hakeem Olajuwon to power forward and he went up to a 99. So we have four 99 overalls on this team, which is going to be called the Los Angeles Goats, the LA Goats. Then we got Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, Larry Bird, Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain, Tim Duncan, Oscar Robertson, Stephen Curry, and I moved him to a shooting guard. He was a 96 overall. Moving him to shooting guard puts him up to a 98. We also got Jerry West, Kevin Durant, and of course, probably the greatest player in NBA history, Alex Caruso. We had to put him on the squad. I don't know if he's going to be getting many minutes during this game but he should be getting the most if you guys are new here make sure that you do go down below and hit that sub button we are on our way to 300,000 subscribers so make sure to sub up all right so we have both of the teams in the nba finals right now and we'll be facing them off against each other in a best of seven series to find out which team comes out on top and then we will actually watch some gameplay as well uh, so let's just hop into this game. Number one is going to go to the GOAT. So they take a 1-0 lead and Michael Jordan tying it up 1-2-1. Jordan taking a 2-1 lead now and the GOATs tie it up 2-2 two -to -two. and the GOATs taking a 3-2 lead. And hopping into game number six, if the GOATs win this, then they are going to win the NBA championship. We got about eight minutes left. The GOATs are up by eight points. So let's see if Jordan can make a comeback here, getting a steal, a clutch steal here, hitting himself, and the mid-range shot is good to go. Dropping that lead down to six. It's going to be interesting to see how he actually covers the centers and the bigger players. He's going to be able to cover any guard. You can cover forwards as well. It's just going to be tough to cover the power forwards and centers. Jordan down by eight again, getting inside for a big dunk. Jordan just needs a stop. Here we go. And another steal by Jordan on the fast break. Can't get inside there. Good defense by Kobe. But Jordan puts up the tough shot. That is no good. And not a good shot right there. And Kobe wide open from three, but he misses. Tim Duncan getting the board. There's no way Jordan's going to be able to pull the boards over those taller guys. Again, Jordan getting inside. Step back. Perfect release over Magic Johnson. There we go. Jordan getting around Magic inside, but he is blocked. And he's going to get the ball back. A good D by Magic right there. Magic to Kobe inside. Good defense, but Kareem getting the rebound. MJ cannot get the boards. Just probably his biggest downfall is just the centers covering them. Tim Duncan, tough shot. No good. And again, Kareem with the board. There's just not much he can do right there. If he was facing a normal sized team, a normal team, he would have got boards easy. Jordan, nice little floater again. Here's Oscar Robertson in the corner. No good. And MJ finally getting a board here. This is big for him. Finds himself down low for the easy dunk. And the leads down to four points. He just needs to catch Kareem and Tim Duncan out of position so he can get those boards. Even LeBron is just way bigger than Michael Jordan. LeBron, the three, no good. But Tim getting the board and good defense. But the big man to keep on getting these boards here's kobe inside and he somehow gets that to go jordan down low good d by kobe big stop by him there oscar robertson inside but a block 
by Jordan. He strips it while he's going up for it. And then he finds himself down low for the easy dunk. Ream down low. Good D, but draws the foul there. Driving in a side easy layup for him there. Lead down to three points. He's making a big comeback here. Oscar Robertson spinning inside. I thought that was a clean block, but Jordan inside again, but he's blocked by Kareem. And now Kobe down low for the easy dunk. And the Goats are starting to take the lead again. Let's see if Kobe should be able to get around Tim Duncan pretty easily there. Step back inside spin move. Is he going to put that up? He is. It's no good. And now Jordan, mid-range shot. He's going to hit that nice and easy. Kobe driving inside. Is he going to put that up? He is a tough shot. No good. And Tim Duncan missing the putback dunk. So Jordan getting the ball again. Wide open, down low. And again, the lead is down to three. And Kobe from three. That's no good. Jordan with a huge board. And he finds himself down low, getting the game within one point. Jordan gets one more stop here. He can actually take the lead and force a game seven. But Oscar Robertson, no defense there. And MJ getting the screen, getting inside and the lob to himself. All right, here we go, a minute left, down by one point. Let's see if Jordan can come back here. Here's Kobe from three, good defense though. The shot's no good, and Tim Duncan fumbling the rebound. Jordan wide open from mid-range, and he takes the lead. Coming back from eight points. Let's see if he can secure the W though. Again, Kobe from three, another miss from Kobe, and if MJ scores here, I think he's gonna secure the W wide open inside and he gets the bucket up by three points. I think we're going to a game seven. Let's see what the Ghost can do on offense though. Oscar Robertson, mid-range shot is good to go. Jordan gonna run down the clock, try to force up that last second shot and he almost drops the ball but a perfect release. Kobe almost getting the steal there. This might be the final possession of the game. The Goats with the ball. Let's see who they're going to have take this last shot. Might be Kobe to Oscar Robertson from three. That's no good. Jordan with the board. And he is going to force a game number seven. Coming back by eight points with eight minutes left. And it clutching up huge here. The Goats are going to get the home court advantage in the final game though. Let's see who's going to end up taking that. So I'm just going to hop into SimCast here for the final game. Game number seven. And let's see how this turns out. The Goats taking a pretty big lead early on in the game. About a 10 point lead throughout this thing so far. And they had almost a 20 point lead there for a little bit. But Michael Jordan actually coming back at the end of the game here. Down by nine with two and a half minutes left. And I think the GOATs are going to secure this one. Let's hop in for the last 1 minute, 21 seconds. See if Jordan can do anything to come back. He's down by 7 points. It's going to be a little tough to do so. All right, so GOATs with the ball up by 7 points. I think they are going to get the W here. It's going to be hard to come back uh, with only a minute left in the game, down by so much. Oscar Robertson inside and one. This is going to give them a 10-point lead if Oscar can hit the free throw here. But I mean, super close game. The fact that 15 Michael Jordans, a team of Michael Jordans, were able to go to a game number seven against the next 15 greatest NBA players in NBA history is pretty impressive. And he kept it pretty close in this final game as well. Jordan trying to get inside from three. Perfect release. I mean, that's the way to do it if he wants to try to come back. Comment down below right now on who you think is going to get finals MVP. Honestly, think it might go to Kobe Bryant. We've been seeing him play quite a bit in these games. A big dunk inside. Jordan from three again. 
That's no good. And the GOATs are going to secure the W there, winning by nine points. It's a little unfortunate not to see Alex Caruso playing this. But the GOATs winning in game number seven. Super close series. Let's see who's going to get finals MVP here. LeBron holding up the trophy. And finals MVP goes to Oscar Robertson. So that's pretty surprising right here. Not even the starting point guard. But he ends up getting that finals MVP. Let's see what kind of points he put up against MJ during these finals. So Oscar putting up 16.6 points per game, 8.1 rebounds, and 11.3 assists. Almost getting that triple-double throughout the NBA Finals. He just needed a few more rebounds. Great performance by him. But that is going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure that you do smash that like button. And of course, if you aren't already, make sure that you do subscribe on the road to 300,000 subscribers. This has been your boy Speakwell, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money.